There is another mechanism that you can use to test a bunch of these assertions like we've seen over here. So here, take a look at what we are doing. We have a nice nested structure, of course, but what, what each test is doing is not very complicated. It's actually very simple stuff. You just have a bunch of assertions. If your tests require some code to run before preparation and all that stuff, it's fairly complicated, then it makes sense to break it down like this. But if all you're doing in each test is assertions, you, are, you have to assert a bunch of things, right? You, there is another way in which you can run a bunch of assertions rather than have like a list of uh, assert equals or assert statements that I talked about. The way to do that is by using a mechanism called assert all, right? Assert all is a way for you to run a bunch of assertions in just one statement and say, okay, now J unit, these are all of my assertions. Here you go, I'm giving this all to you, run it. And if any one of those fail, mark it as failure, right? If you're not very picky about what each assertion does, you're just running a bunch of test cases for those assertions, this is the way to go, right? So let's try uh, doing an assert all, which is gonna be the next exercise. Uh, we're gonna do a bunch of uh, test asserts for the multiply method, right? So we've done uh, add using nested. We're gonna do multiply with um, a bunch of uh, asserts using assert all. And again, we're gonna do some of the, the common uh, multiply test cases. We're gonna multiply by zero to make sure the result is zero. We're gonna multiply by one to make sure the result is the other number. And then a simple multiply test case which, with two um, uh, numbers greater than one. All right, uh, let's try that out. Now I'm going to create a new test here, which is, uh, again, you know the drill. How do you write a test? So first, a test, and then display name. Good thing to have, so I'm gonna put that there. Multiply method, and then test multiply. And I'm going to do assert equals. First, I'm gonna do an assert equals, right? Assert equals for math utils dot multiply of two and two. Okay, this should return the right product. Now let's say you want to do this for a bunch of different a uh, bunch of different tests, and you don't want to keep repeating the asserts over and over again. Well, there is an alternative way to do this, which is using assert all. Okay. Now here's how you use assert all. I'm going to comment this out. Assert all. All right. Assert all takes in, okay, so it has a bunch of uh, uh, overloaded uh, methods like you've seen before, but here's what I'm interested in. It takes in a bunch of executables, all right? It takes in a bunch of lambdas that you can pass in, and each of those lambdas can have assert statements, all right? And what it's gonna do is it's gonna run all those assert statements, and then it's gonna say, okay, all of your assert statements passed, so this thing has passed. So it's kind of like an and condition for your asserts. Okay, rather than have each of those separately, you can put it inside one statement and have only that surface out so that you don't have to deal with like 10 different conditions that you're seeing if all you care about is, okay, in the end, did all of them pass or did any of them fail? If that's your concern, you use assert all. Now here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do assert all here and then inside this, I'm gonna pass in a bunch of Assert statements, lambdas rather. So I'm gonna have the first lambda be this assert equals. Okay. Second lambda is gonna be another assert equals, which is going to be for testing zero and then this is going to, i'm going to remove this uh, these statements i don't need these statements here i all i care about is the final uh, output so i'm going to do two and zero and then i'm going to do one more uh, 
let's let's test negative numbers, right? So let's say minus minus two. If I multiply two with minus one, okay, simple simple use cases to test multiply, and then I'm going to end this with a semicolon. Of course, remove the comma here. So what I'm doing here is in one shot I'm passing three asserts. And again, this is something that's new. We did not have this before in JNet4. We're getting this because we get to leverage the benefit of lambdas in Java, right? So the, the construct has changed. Remember in the first video, I talked about how uh, the language patterns have evolved and testing has not evolved. Well, this is an example of it. You are using the new language patterns to evolve the way in which you test. And this assert all is a very good example. I'm going to remove this commented line. You don't need that anymore. And now, assert all is going to run through all of these asserts, and if any one of those fails, the test fails. Um, okay, um, I'm gonna clear out the wrong um, test here so that it doesn't mess up my test display. All right, what was it that was failing? Two positive numbers. Okay, this should be minus two. Okay, I'm gonna put things back to where they were working so that we can examine uh, this assert, run, and everything passes. It's just one, and then if any of those fails, that thing turns uh, red, right? So it's a way for you to get a bunch of asserts together. It's very handy for cases like this where you don't need uh, nested, right? Something like add, you don't need nested. All you're doing is asserts. A bunch of asserts, assert all is your friend.